I'm Gwen Preston of Resource Maven. We're here at the Metals Investor Forum in Vancouver in September, and I'm joined by Andrew Bowering of Prime Mining, which people might not be familiar with because you literally just started trading a few days ago after a major corporate reorganization, transformation, project acquisition, restructuring. So why don't you capture for us sort of the corporate picture of, of Prime Mining new out the gate? Okay, thanks, Gwen. Uh, so we came to trade Tuesday morning with a, uh, um, a very favorable share structure, a, a fabulous collection of mining executives, capital markets personnel, and uh, local local stakeholders that are all interested in seeing us move prime mining forward into a junior producer over the next 24 months. And so I think it's interesting, interesting to me, a few, even a year ago, I probably wouldn't have been interested in what I would call sort of a... a a fairly quick to production story. But now that we're in a gold bull market, there are lots of investors who love those kinds of stories. And I think Los Reos, which is the project that you now have acquired, um, really has that potential. So tell us a bit about Los Reos, what it is and what you think you can do with it in the near term. Los Reos is a, uh, uh, an open, pitable, heap leachable oxide gold deposit that's been studied ad nauseum. It's had $20 million spent in, in exploration and engineering to PFS levels over the last 20 years, but it's always been orphaned by companies that have bigger and better projects in their mind. Mm -hmm. And we were able to pick it up at the right place at the right time for the right price to make it favorable for us. Yes, it's got the potential to hold a million and a half ounces or thereabouts, and there's some you know, experts in the business that will tell you that. And some people say, drill it, explore it, make right. it bigger, make it a million ounces. But um, it costs a lot of money to do that. We know that there's 530,000 ounces there right now that we can turn into production and then use uh, cash flows to develop real value for shareholders. Absolutely. And and I think you come from an interesting perspective. You've, you've done a lot of work in the mining industry, but you're you're really a businessman who's focused on shareholder value. It shouldn't be unusual to say that because you would hope that most uh, executives of public companies are that. But that's what you are. And so you see an opportunity here to keep a tight share structure and get an, an asset into development so that you can hopefully you know, generate returns for shareholders in, on a fairly short timeline. I do. I have a lot of my own money at stake in this company. I don't take a salary from the company. I, I've had everybody in the company from the board of directors all the way down to the secretary swap out their first year of salary into shares at 30 cents a share, the same price as all other investors in our financing. And so we all have a vested stake in the game like the shareholders. And, and for us then, controlling the capital is very important. We have 58.7 million shares out. There's another 22 million of potential shares coming from a warrant that's exercisable at 50 cents that might be enough money to get this all the way to the finish line. And if we can do that, then it pays back for all of us shareholders. And, and so that's the plan. Absolutely. And we didn't say, so Los Rios is in Mexico. You just, uh, the rest of your team is sort of down in Mexico right now.